All right, guys, listen up. This is a special anniversary, a special occasion. There will not be a significant military memorial that falls on a Saturday or Sunday for at least 24 to 30 years. So this is it. This is the convoy to remembrance. Okay, thank you. Start going through the vehicles, checking the batteries, getting them started up. Start the vehicle at least once today. Does it not start? Does it need a boost? You have a problem. Can you reach that battery? Yeah, I can reach that. Okay, here, come, bring it uh, up. Keep your head, watch your head, watch your head. We're gonna hand you this meter. Red to positive, black to negative. Okay, ready? Yeah. There you go, you guys have done this before. What's with the list? First parade, making sure that all the fluid levels and vehicles ready to run up and down the road without blowing up. People complain about their vehicle riding like a tank. Well, they should get in a tank and find out what they really ride like, because they ride nice. Just mm -hmm. kind of float. Charles Rains giving a tour to two Second War vets that are in our museum right now. It's a pleasure to see you guys And it's everybody's favorite job, especially on a rainy day. We gotta get the vehicles clean. If your vehicle is filthy, if you cannot just bucket wash it in place, it needs to go to the wash rack. Right after O Group, we are going to do what we have not done for many, many years. We are going to do a group photograph right on top of the Leos with the uh, MVCC in, in the rear. <laughs> we will go over the detailed plan tomorrow. O Group tomorrow, Saturday, is the same as usual as O900. Well, we got a hell of a day ahead of us. Seven, eight years ago, we were parading three or four vehicles on a Memorial Day. Look what we're doing now. This is the most well-organized thing that I've seen. I see the ops orders, I see the organization, I see the people here, I see the people dedicated that have been here all week. And here we are, the Ontario Regiment Museum, doing a 45 vehicle road move with tanks and armor included. It is an incredible undertaking. And we are doing something that is absolutely historic here in Canada. This year, the convoy is so massive, we are breaking up into six independent squadrons. There has been a squadron leader assigned to each one. Find your name, find your squadron leader. Why did he have to be in our group? <laughs> First parades are like a pre-start checklist. So you check over all your systems, make sure they're sound and ready for operation. It's pretty comprehensive, but it's necessary. We're just doing a comms check right now, and making sure all our radios are working for the convoy tomorrow. Just, just push it right in. No, it, it is. Eh? It is. Yeah. You can see it's just kind of old. That's all right. As long as it makes content. Right? The whole squadron concept and everything is really working well. They've got uh, people working on their vehicles and the vehicles in their squadron. So the squadrons are pulling together and Peter's helping Paul and really good. I've been volunteering now will be five years. <laughs> I love working with vehicles and a majority of my family has been in the military service so I need to do them some respect. I'm uh, one of the original members. I've been here 35 years. We started with nine ferret set scout cars. Now here we are today moving uh, 42 vehicles in, the, in this parade. It's amazing. The finest automotive grease you can find. There are bearings and rods or whatever inside here. I'm not quite sure what makes them go, but you do want to make sure to lubricate it because if you don't, it gets overly hot and then the thing falls off and you have a road wheel pair go careening down past the front of your tank.
I'm cleaning a bit. This is my leopard. I just want to make sure that it's uh, it's been hosed down, it's been cleaned up, but I want to just give it, make it shine that much more. Although we are a museum, we are an accredited Canadian Armed Forces Museum, and the bubblegum chewing public, when they see you in those vehicles, to them you represent the Army. So you will act in a way that is becoming of a serving person on Remembrance Day. Here is the museum, and this is the route we will be taking. Stevenson to Adelaide. Adelaide, all the way across to Mary. Mary down to Richmond, and then the marshalling area at the Armory. We are rolling under police escort through all lights, through all stop signs at 30 kilometers an hour. We go as a team, we come back as a team, and we will celebrate and debrief as a team. I will see you at 0700 tomorrow morning, right here. Thank you. I want you to remember these things. Be vigilant, be prepared, be safe, and remember, you have to be vigilant as they were vigilant. There was no rest. In the forces, you have to be prepared for almost any eventuality. And in this operation, so do we. Remember why we're here. Remember why we're doing this. You're gonna be cold. Remember they were cold. Get through it. You're gonna be thirsty and hungry. Remember they were thirsty and hungry. It's so incredible to see where we've come. We got about 80, 90 people here that'll be in those vehicles on this parade. The biggest thing since I don't know what. You're gonna rally on your section leaders. Get to your vehicles. Understand where your marshalling position is and direction in the field. So far so good. I mean, I, I can handle cold, barely. Uh, but uh, no rain, so let's hope for the best. It's amazing, nothing short of amazing. Everyone's saying that to me. Being part of this is incredible. It's amazing. I think it's colder. I don't remember there being frost last year. This is history in the making. This has never been done before. In about four minutes, we're gonna roll at 0900, history in the making in Canada. I've prepared you, you've prepared yourself. We can do this. To tankers, for them, let's roll. Today is one of the best days as a soldier that you can be part of. I was in the military for six years and, and Remembrance Day has always uh, been a, an amazing day, uh, not just for us, but for everyone else to see. So this is my sixth Remembrance Day with the Ontario Regiment Museum. Every year it seems to get bigger and better. It's a very solemn occasion, like any Remembrance Day, but it's also a very important one because it is the 100 years. turned on Stevenson, all we saw from all the way up to Simcoe Street was just a line of military vehicles. It was epic. So what they wanted me to do was leave the tank park there. They took a look and they said, there's no way you can get the tank down here. I said, well, what are you talking about? Of course there is. is just approaching, led by the pipes and drums of Branch 43 of the Royal Canadian Legion, followed by the members of Oshawa's own Ontario Regiment, which was officially formed in 1866 to combat the Fenian raid threat, and has delivered 152 years of honour, sacrifice and service to Canada, Ontario and our community.
100 years ago today, a truce was signed to end the Great War and bring peace to the land. During this war, our veterans showed enormous amounts of courage that even with the risk of it being their final day, they chose to take action. These men and women showed bravery, strength, and resolve like no other to serve in the name of Canada. So that is it, mission accomplished. It's uh, very impressive seeing all the people lined up at the sides of the roads. It's almost something you wouldn't see much done at home. It's been a privilege to be part of this. Thanks to the Ontario Regiment Museum for inviting me to partake. You see the crowds we had there, Memorial Park. The look on people's face. I don't think Oshawa has seen anything like this. I don't know if Canada or maybe North America has seen anything like this. This many rumbling at the same time going for a specific purpose. Well, my God, we did it. fascinating event. I don't think I'll ever see it again in my lifetime. It really was very unique. It has been a privilege to be a part of this. You are now an honorary lifetime member of the Ontario Regiment Museum. Woohoo!